Pepper and George are playing hide and seek. It is George's turn to hide. <coughs> he must quickly find somewhere to hide before Pepper finishes counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> George has Eight, found somewhere to hide. Nine, just in time. Ten. <coughs> Ready or not, here I come. Pepper has to find where George is hiding. Found you! Pepper has found George. George, I could see you too easily. <laughs> now it is Pepper's turn to hide. One, um, three. I'll help George to count. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, George, open your eyes. George has to find where Pepper is hiding. Oh. Pepper isn't hiding under the table. George, have you thought of looking upstairs? <laughs> Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? George has found where Pepper was hiding. George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. But George isn't very good at hiding. I'm sure he'll be better this time. Close your eyes and start counting. One. Two. Oh, three. dear. Pepper will easily Four, find George. Five. George, six, come over here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. <coughs> Ready or not, here I come. Oh. George isn't hiding under the table. <coughs> but George always hides under the table. Have you thought of looking upstairs? <coughs> I know where he is. George is in the toy basket. Oh. George is not in the toy basket. Where can he be? Pepper cannot find George anywhere. Daddy, I can't find George anywhere. Oh dear. I wonder where he can be. <laughs> Actually, I think there's something about George in this newspaper. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> George! Found you! <laughs> oh, George! That was a good place to hide. <laughs> George was hiding behind Daddy Pig's newspaper all the time. <laughs> the playgroup. Pepper and George are going to the playgroup. It is George's first day. George? Are you looking forward to the playgroup? Daddy, maybe George is too small to go to my playgroup. He'll be fine, Pepper. There'll be you and Mr. Dinosaur there to keep him company. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> but I want to play with the big children. Not George and his toy dinosaur. Oh dear. 
Peppa doesn't want George to go to her playgroup. We're here. Daddy, are you sure George is big enough? He'll be fine. <laughs> All right. He can come. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle looks after the children at the playgroup. Hello. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. Nice. <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. Is that a dinosaur? It's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. <laughs> First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? Dinosaur. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint a dinosaur. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Mummy Pig at work. Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Daddy Pig is making soup for lunch. Daddy, can we go and watch Mummy on her computer? Yes, as long as you don't disturb her. She has a lot of important work to do today. Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has a lot of important work to do. Mummy, can George and I sit on your lap and watch you work? Yes, if you both sit quietly. <laughs> Peppa and George love to watch Mummy work on the computer. Mummy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? We can play Happy Mrs Chicken later, but now I have to work. Mummy, 
Can we help you work? No, Peppa. You mustn't touch the computer. And George, you mustn't touch the computer either. Yes, George. You mustn't do this. Peppa, stop! Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh, dear. The computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig! What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, can you mend the computer? Um. I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Um, maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy? Can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? Maybe you should ask Mummy Pig. Mummy said that we can play it later. Well, that's OK, then. But I don't know where the disc is. It's my turn. <laughs> what on earth is going on? <laughs> Well, I see the computer is working again. George is playing with his ball in the garden. <laughs> Pepper wants to play too. George, you're doing it all wrong. This is how to catch a ball. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> That's what you do. What a cheeky little one Pepper is. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Pepper is teasing George just a bit too much. Pepper, have you been teasing George? Not really, Mummy. I was teaching him how to catch. Really? Oh, well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Pepper, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. 
You have to throw the ball to each other and I have to try and catch it. I'm the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Peppa. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Pepper, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! Caught it! George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh dear, Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Yes, it is. I just gave George a helping hand. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can I have a helping hand? Of course you can, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> George! Catch, George! <laughs> Pepper loves catching the ball. George loves catching the ball. Everyone loves catching the ball. <laughs>